It certainly seems a good idea. But doesn't it mean a great deal of walking about? Well, of course, you can always harness a donkey to it. In fact, you almost want the donkey to go with the set. Uh, yes, uh, and then you will not only hear the music, but have a nice ride at the same time. Excellent. Most ingenious. But to return to this matter of broadcasting messages, when do you think you could manage to send out a message on behalf of the police? Well, Mr. Mayor, I see no reason why I should not broadcast it sometime tonight. I have arranged for the town band to come here this evening to broadcast, if I can get it working. And when they have finished, I will broadcast the message with pleasure. Better broadcast the message first. Because when the town band is finished, perhaps people will have stopped listening. True, true, there's something in that. If you will kindly let me have your message, I will broadcast it before the actual entertainment commences. So the mayor and Ernest the policeman composed a message about the missing hippo. And when it was finished, the mayor read it to the inventor. <clears throat> we are asked by Ernest the policeman to broadcast the following message. Missing from his home in the ark near Toy Town, a young hippo answering to the name of Pip. Small brown eyes, complexion greyish, walks with a rolling motion. When last seen was wearing a blue and white striped sweater. Is believed to be looking for a puddle to roll in. Will anyone knowing the whereabouts of the missing animal communicate with Mr. Noah, the Ark, or with the police station, Toy Town? Is that the message? Thank you. Now, if I can only find my spectacles, there will be no difficulty about reading it. My eyes are not so good as they were, and I seem to remember using my glasses to make a magic lantern. Yes, however, no doubt they will turn up, and if they don't, I shall probably be quite able to remember the message. Then we may rely upon you, Mr. Inventor. Absolutely, Mr. Mayor. As soon as I get the radio working, your message will be broadcast. And how will people know you are broadcasting? You can't expect everyone to sit with their ears in cigar boxes waiting, can you? Ah, always trying to catch me, officer. Always trying to catch me. I thought of that. Just before I commence to broadcast, I shall make a hooting sound. In fact, I have invented a special contraption for the purpose of hooting. It is on the roof. If you look up as you go out, you will see it. And as regards that portable set, Mr. Mayor, would you care for me to tie it up and have it sent round to you in time for the first broadcast? Well, <clears throat> I'll think about it. I'll certainly think about it. Good morning to you. After leaving the inventor's house, the mayor walked thoughtfully along the street with Ernest pacing respectfully behind. The mayor was trying to make up his mind whether he should purchase the special radio which the inventor had shown him. It would look most undignified if he contented himself with a set made in a cigar box. But he hesitated, because he knew the mayoress would not understand the importance of the matter. And she would probably say that if he could afford an expensive radio, he could afford a new carpet for the drawing room. However, he at last made up his mind. Officer, I've decided to purchase that very ingenious portable set the inventor showed me. It's clearly my duty as mayor to encourage this new broadcasting. Oh, indeed. Well, you don't catch me with one of them newfangled things. Now, don't say that, officer, because I was about to ask your assistance. You will remember the inventor explained how the appliance worked. One has to wheel it out towards Arkville. Now, it's rather a long way for me to push it alone, so I think you'd better come with me. Oh, very well, sir. If you don't think it'd look too undignified, as you might say, for us to trundle a thing like a barrel organ backwards and forwards on the crossroads, I suppose I must come. But there's one thing, Your Worship, I must insist upon, with all due respect. You don't catch me turning no handles. I don't want all the young animals at Toy Town dropping pennies on the pavement whenever I come onto my beat. You shall not be asked to turn the handle, officer, I promise you. Immediately after tea, we'll go back to the inventors and procure the apparatus, which we will wheel through the back streets to the open country. Who knows? We might see Mr. Noah's young hippo on the way. 
So early that evening, the mayor, accompanied by Ernest, could have been seen trundling the portable radio along the back ways of Toy Town. And when they reached the Arkville Road, Ernest blew a sigh of relief, removed his helmet and wiped his forehead with a large spotted handkerchief. Then they resumed their journey, taking turns to push the radio. And at last they passed the pond where the celluloid ducks lived and arrived at the crossroads. Now, according to the inventor's instructions, we have to turn this little knob. So. <clears throat> I, uh, I don't seem to hear anything, do you? No, Your Worship. I don't hear nothing. Perhaps that's because we are not in the right position. Let's try wheeling the appliance a little nearer to Arkville. I still can hear nothing. I can see a lot of little nubs, Your Worship. How about turning them all round? An excellent idea. Let's turn every knob we can see. Something's bound to happen then. Ah, this one's come right off. Came right off in my hand, it did. Really, you must be careful, officer. How can you expect the thing to work if you start pulling it to pieces? I still can't hear anything, can you? Perhaps something is stuck. I, I wonder whether we could uh, shake it. Oh, it's a bit heavy to shake, Your Worship. But you take one end and I'll take the other. Now then, both together. <laughs> No good. I suppose you haven't such a thing as a hammer about you. No, Your Worship, I ain't. But I got on a good heavy pair of boots. It's no good kicking the thing, officer. Don't be impatient. Let's try turning the handle. Uh, it's a swindle, Your Worship. That's what it is. Call that a radio set? Boy, I could make a better one than that. It certainly seems a trifle disappointing. However, let's try wheeling it further back towards Toy Town. It's working! It's working! I knew it would be all right! <laughs> 